really supportive of him. Like, I'm like so confused by all of this. I'm like, I'll tell you what happened. Mike basically told me, chat, quote me, quote this. Mike literally, oh my god, so funny. Everyone spam. <laughs> Mike literally quoted me. One day he unfollowed this girl because she put a cucumber up her ass, bro. That's literally what Mike told me. So ever since then, she was mad about him unfollowing her on Twitter. I swear to God, I'm going to call Mike right now. No, chat, I, you guys are going to say, what the fuck? No, chat, I swear on my life. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> you guys are saying, what the fuck? Yo, go to my room right now. Come to my room. Come in my room. Bro, chat, I swear to God, bro, that's what he told me. Uh, let's just see if it's Cap or not. Chat, do you guys think it's Cap or not Cap? You guys are saying proof. Nah, you guys are down bad. Spam down bad, chat. Listen, man, you're my brother. We're just watching some shit. Let me get you a chair. Now, Mike, just tell the people real quick, why did you unfollow her on Twitter? No, but that's not why she's mad. That's not why she was mad, bro. Okay, that's so then a, you explain the I did unfollow her on Twitter because... Tell the camera. But she doesn't... That has nothing to do with it. I unfollowed her on Twitter because she... Because I kept seeing videos of her shoving cucumbers in her asshole. So that's real? But that's, yes, but that's not why... But that's not why... What the fuck? But that's not why she was mad, bro. She was mad because... And I just didn't want to see that. There's nothing wrong with that. I just want to say that if you're out there and you're a woman and you want to shove cucumbers or right. pineapples or anything in your asshole, that's completely fine. It was, it's not about shaming sex workers. I just personally did not want to see that kind of content from her. I wanted to I agree. see regular content. No, because Mike, I, I, I'm going to be honest. Like, like chat, I follow a lot of you guys back on Twitter. If I see any like type of like... 18 or over, or over, like nudity, I unfollow you guys. I don't like to see that either. Like, if you're in public, you just, I don't like to Honestly, see that. Honestly, it's funny you say that because because I do follow uh, other adult actresses on Twitter, and when they post that kind of stuff, I generally mute them or unfollow them. But that's not why she's Wait, why mad. are they saying pineapples? Because I was just saying that in con in context. She never did that with pineapples. Uh. But what I'm saying <laughs> is this. What I'm saying is this. Um, that's not why, that's not why me and her have had beef. She's, she's put out a bunch of videos about me and, and here's the thing, like really quickly. And I don't, I don't want to sit here and defend myself. Like you keep doing your stream. I don't want to do this. I really don't even want to address this at all. Okay. The thing that. Do you want me to get off this after this or no? It's up to you. I mean, I just want to, if you, I honestly prefer to just like, to just like let it die. Here, here's what I'll say. And then I don't have to address it on my stream. Okay. I'll just say this really quickly. Okay. She has always had, uh, uh, she, she's made videos like why Logan Paul and Mike Malak are misogynists, why why uh, um, Mike Malak was a cheater, Mike Malak did this. So anytime like Lana would tweet anything, she would latch onto it and she would cause trouble, right? I didn't even say anything about her on this podcast. I just said, all I said was that I felt sometimes like they were bullying people. I said sometimes they created a whole thing about this like, about uh, TikTokers, about Charlie D'Amelio, uh, Dixie D'Amelio with this whole thing that blew up. It wasn't even that big of a thing and they put out this hour hit piece. I have no problem with that. Get your bag. Like people gotta make money. Co the commentary community gotta make money. The, the issue that I have and the place where I get upset is when at one point in the podcast she said um, three out of three people in that podcast have sexual uh, yeah. assault See, allegations. I, I can't like that's it. that's um that is uh defamation of character. Right. You can't you 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 can't just make up that's a lie saying. like that. And so the the thing is at the end of the day, bro, is that a lot of these people in the commentary community, they just create these false storylines and false stories, and they're gonna do it to you too. I'm not not them, but like maybe I don't know. But I'm just saying, like people in the commentary community will just create false storylines and then they serve them to their community as facts. Mike cheated on Lana multiple so times. So they all believe it. I never cheated on the girl one time. In the very beginning of the relationship, before we even started dating, I had that one hookup in New York City. After that, there was never a single other time where I fucking cheated or did anything wrong. She brought up the GTA shit where I said, they give me your Instagram to some fucking girl on the GTA stream because it was fucking funny. Like, yo, here's the thing. Let me explain this to everybody out there. If you're in the commentary community, if you're in the audience, if you think you have a good grasp on what happens behind the scenes in a relationship in this fucking industry, that shit that isn't fucking publicized or put online, you have no idea what the fuck you're talking about at all. We show a, a 0.001% of shit. She went out, she's like, she, you know, he didn't fucking move in with Lana because he wanted to start a content house. Dog, this isn't a content house. No, it's a bunch yeah. of macro creators who have multi-million dollar businesses living together under the same roof to collaborate and create new business, new IP, and fucking and build and grow together. This isn't a fucking TikTok house. It's motherfuckers that are already making millions of dollars. 
And they went on, they said, I my face looks like a ball sack. He's old as fuck. He's creepy. Like all wait, this who, shit. Wait, which one? All, called all, who all, called all, the, all the whole show. No, they both did. And that was another funny part about it because in all honesty, Trisha, Trisha is, I think, two years younger than me. And she got a video on YouTube mm -hmm. that says why I date younger men. You know what I'm saying? What the but, then fuck? She, but then she gives me shit. And Ethan's exact same age as me talking shit about me. And bro, let me let me just my final note on this on it is this. I'm not saying anything. I'm not creating a video. I'm not sending sh I don't want to send any shots away because I don't like this type of energy, dog. I just don't. But at some point, some misinformed motherfucker gave these two people the moral high ground to be able to make decisions around who who is able to or who should be doing what. These two people have so much shit, so much shit on the internet about them. Racist shit. Like you, I'm not, I don't want to get into it too much, but like crazy, crazy fucked up shit. Fucked up shit. Okay, and so I don't know who exactly it was that gave them the moral high ground to be the fucking judge, jury, and executioner, but I will say this: they're part, they're they're members of the of the um, commentary community. This is what they want to do. I have no problem with that. Get your bag. You got to use the the right uh, influencers to get your viewership. That's fine. Go make your money. The only issue that I have is when you start to create false narratives around shit that never happened and every i will say this don't watch this i want you I, i'm you asking want me to watch you it? no i'm asking you okay. after this is done walk away from it go to something more positive okay but i'm gonna say this straight up dog pretty much 90 percent, if not more of the shit that was mentioned in this in this uh episode is 100 percent lies 100 wow. percent lies context removed assumptions wow and also back to what i said on no jumper uh ethan and 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 uh trisha bullying you called me fucking an old horse you fucking said my face looks like a ball sack i got people bro <laughs> sorry which is kind of funny i'm sorry gonna, yeah. but i got people coming at me on my instagram they're dming my mom you, you fuck you you raised a piece of shit rapist son wow because of the shit they did so like they they'll say they'll hide behind the shit like yo this is comedy that's we're not just right joking, at all. no but they don't understand the real world implications no. of the shit that they're saying because it's not just joking around shit yeah your face looks like a ball sack i'm here for it yeah you know what i'm saying but by the way by the way i i look i'm not disrespecting that man on my whatever he is or you know i'm not disrespecting him but you are better looking than him. I'm not, and I'm not trying to. No, I mean, I, I, that's not right that he came at you and bullied you. It, but it doesn't even have to be like. But I I'm just saying. Say all that watch, shit. Watch, and in, chat, all, and in all honesty, another thing, another thing they said too. Yeah. Another thing they said was, um, uh, they they insulted my intelligence quite a bit and said like, listen, like this kid. They said this kid's head is filled with hot dogs, which actually I like that joke as well. There was a. I'm not going to say they're not funny, but I, I will. I will happily say this. I believe in myself enough. To sit down with you, Ethan, as well as Trisha, I challenge you to an in-person IQ test oh, shit. done by a third-party independent contractor or someone completely unrelated to all of us, all of us. And I believe the two losing people should donate ten thousand dollars to a charity of the winner's choice. Damn. So Ethan, Trisha, if you guys are extremely smart. And the intellectual uh, beauties that you claim to be, I would love to meet you. You can bring security. You can bring whatever you want. Let's sit down. Let's have a beautiful IQ test to a third-party contractor, and let's give some money to charity. I love that. That's such a great way to. Also, also, all positive vibes. Ethan, Trisha, keep getting your keep getting your bags, keep getting your money. But please, like, try to base the shit you're saying in at least some um, a bit of fact. Just a little bit. Just add a little bit of fact in everyone's so Mike, life. So wait, Mike. So in this, did you say outside of? Uh, did you say outside of this is where they called you? Uh, like they said, it you, goes on for an hour. It's like an hour long situation. They talk about you for an hour. Yeah, me, wow. me and Banks for like an hour. And so like you know, listen. I, like I said, they got to get money. I understand that, but like you, you, I will never address this shit on my channels. Do you know? Do you know between the Logan shit, the Lana shit? This shit. Do you know how many views I could have pulled in the past? Three so months? many, yeah. You could have milked tens it. of millions. I could have made th hundreds of thousands of dollars. Do you know how many right. videos I put out on my on None. my channels? Zero. He made no videos about Lana shit, or Logan. Bro. Yeah, this garbage. I put out regular videos about regular That's shit. That's true. Fun, positive vibes. Clock the fuck in for the night shit. This is dumb shit. Get off of it. Gotcha. Stay positive. Keep fucking crushing. Don't <laughs> talk shit and elevate about it. You killed it, bro. We love you. I love you. W test, motherfuckers. <laughs> w Mike in the chat. He actually killed it, bro.
No, nah, but for real though, bro, I would rather fall, bro, chat, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how you can make fun of his looks, he's actually not even a bad looking dude, um, he killed it, damn, <laughs> he killed him with positivity too, he really, he really held his ground, bro, he's gone through a lot of shit, bro, Mike's gone through a lot of shit, he's right about that, he really could've made, yeah, 9303! Who is at the door? You just, you just set your door code in front of fucking 100,000. Oh my god, look who it is! Now we gotta get it changed. I just wanted to come in and- Sit down. Just, just see what- Can I sit here, Mike? Of course. Please? You're the king. Yes. Yeah, so stop, stop, stop. What's up, chat? What's all the fuss about? This is crazy. Honestly, listen, listen. At the end of the day, Mike's all worked up and he's been on edge because of- He's been going through it. I know. Like, real life serious shit been going no, through No, I know, it. I know. Between the lot of shit, the fucking, just everything that he's been going through. Look, I feel for him. <laughs> Wanks in the chat. Listen, this motherfucker, first of all, Wait. the face, the face Blakes thing, he knows my name. Of course this he does. motherfucker knows my name. We I know. We used to follow each other. Face Blanks is supposed to be some joke about me being dumb, whatever. I don't know. Your co-host is Trisha Paytas, but I'm dumb. I okay, know. all right, all right. I don't know, no, 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 I don't know. I think L3, L3 is way funnier. I think it's, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. Wait, for real? I think it's all funny. I, just to sum up what Mike basically said, this is my whole stance on this thing. Um, Why we've even talked about these guys as much as we have. I love, I love this. <laughs> <laughs> Who watches this? Mine! I didn't tell you. You're I had a jeweler funny. come over. Yes, I'm all iced out. You bought all this shit? Uh, so free. you lost my shit. I'm so sorry. You bought all your own I'm shit. sorry. That's crazy. Yo, he tell you guys he lost my face. Yes, shit. he knows. You know, they know, they know. <laughs> no, Ricky, Ricky, this is all free. It's not free. They gave it to you for free. I, all I have to do is uh, like just like an IG story and like put it on my like YouTube. That's fire. Hey, yeah. catch the back. That's fire. Yeah. Um, no, just to sum it all up on my 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 stance for with all this, I just recorded a fucking mom's basement episode and talked about trisha went on her fucking instagram this is how this all started okay the line is crossed the second you start bringing up real shit crazy shit allegations with absolutely no basis no fact attached yeah that's to what kind of got me upset like, bro too. yeah there's a fine line i can take jokes all fucking day i think that i think that people are way too serious people get offended way too easily online these days and Crack all the humor you want. Phase blanks it. Phase blanks the fuck up. Like whatever. That's, yeah, that's whatever. not even that bad. L three L three. It's really not. <laughs> that stuff is funny. Mike said they called him. They said he looked like a nutsack. Whatever. <laughs> all that shit is is just humor. What I don't appreciate about them is they're hypocrites. So they'll go and say, "You guys are bullying Trisha. Or someone's being a bully." Any kind of criticism that comes their way, it's written off as they're we're, they're bullying. When they'll they'll go on and by the textbook definition bully everybody else. They're right. just hypocrites. Right. And then they'll go as far as crossing the line. Trisha made Trisha did this like ten fucking ten story like thing about how me and Mike are fucking old dudes starting some hype house, which it's just it's laughable. not even a hype house. It's just though. laughable. But it's what, just you, laughable. what we're doing we're, here is so much like yeah, beyond that. It's pretty. Like, we haven't even really gotten started either. That's yeah, a crazy. We're part. just getting started now, and already things are fucking. Moving. Things I know. Are, things are going great. We're all, the vibe is good. Everyone's having fun. Um, but then she went on to say, like, you guys are fucking creepy and old. And, like, you guys you guys have both had, had issues with underage girls in the past. Yeah, that pissed me off. What, and she kept it vague. Whether that means underage girls at parties or whatever. Whatever the fuck. Just having your name associated with something like yeah, that. Yeah, you can't do that. It's disgusting. I run a business. You can't Base do that. clan is my life. It takes care of fucking... 70 plus people literally um, you know what i mean like we have 70 plus employees and all their families extended out like this They're shit all taken care of yeah. this shit is like it's not a joke you can't just say that and by the way i don't know if i have to clarify this absolutely nonsense that's never happened everybody knows that <laughs> me and mike have never had never. i know but it's just no and, and, and but to say that out and ricky out loud, like, i also told them that like we're so like even who we have at our house like they, they oh, you you're the one who literally enforced uh yo uh, this so, always tell, tell them me. how tell them how so, like literally by like, the fucking when if, it comes to that shit. If you guys want to come to our house, like you literally, you have to put your ID. They check your age, everything. And I and I one time I was like, yo, it was, it was SB before like you knew yeah. before anyone. I was like, yo, they're all good. They're with me. They're like, nope, no, nope, no, nope. I can't because you know we have a rule now. You gotta get ID. And we weren't and we weren't even partying or whatever. No, nope, like, nope. SSB is different. That's family. Like no, but course. you didn't know them at first. Yeah. So but guys, girls doesn't matter. Like that, that's the way we've always operated. I'm. You know what I mean. I don't fucking, I walk the line as far as like 
being loud and obnoxious and really saying and doing whatever the fuck I want. Right. But I like when it comes to that shit, dude, like we're not taking any chances. We have way too much to lose, all of us. And at the end of the day, we're good people. And I know, you know what I mean? I know what's right and what's wrong. Of course. Um, um, yeah, that, that was basically, Mike's stressing all out. I, I think, know. I honestly think most of it's funny. I just don't, I don't like how she's When you like, cross that line and when you start yeah. bringing up like sexual assault and shit like you that. You can't do that. You get, and, and you don't clarify that you're either, it's not even a joke. I don't even, it's just, everything about it's weird. It's false. It's I just find false to, I find them to be incredibly hypocritical. And it's just, it's laughable. Um, I don't think it's that serious, though. It's not that deep. But but I, I think that, you know. <laughs> it's just the face blanks thing. I love that. Wait, but that is, that's not even, like, that bad face no, blanks. No, it's funny. It's, it's funny. But, but I, can, I, can, I can, that stuff is fine. It's it's banter, back and forth, whatever. Like, that's the, that those are the two, that's why it's starting to get serious. It's because we, we see right through it. But Ricky. It's like, it's like with the H3 thing. All I see this motherfucker do is aim shots at Keemstar for being like racist and shit. Twist. They just took a fucking, they just took a, like a, and, and you can have whatever opinion you want about Keemstar, but it doesn't matter who it is. They took a fucking clip of this dude or, or a voice note of this guy saying some fucking crazy shit when this was something that Keemstar was talking about years ago and directly quoting somebody else. He was doing a story on somebody saying some crazy shit. Right. Something along those lines. And they just took out the quote and it made it sound like Keemstar was saying that shit. Oh, I and see. And just put and blast and it sound fucking they had the soundboard queued up. I know what you mean. Like don't like what do you and H three H three, like do your own fucking research. I don't even care to get into this. And I don't like. There's a ton of context behind it, but that motherfucker's been on his own podcast without, you know what I mean, on his own show saying crazy gnarly shit. I know. Hard R followed by the fucking F word, fucking referring to gay people back to back. I oh, mean, that, oh, that's that fun. clip is out there, and like you cannot like. And then he'll aim at Keemstar, and Keemstar got caught up saying some crazy shit like fucking twelve years ago. You know what I mean on battle cams or whatever. I don't know. Context is everything. You guys should just always be informed to make your own decisions. Yeah. If you like H three, if you whatever L three L three. If you if you fuck with him, then you fuck with him. If you fuck with us, you you can fuck with anybody you want. It's yeah. Just, just don't. The moral of the story is, at the end of the day, the internet's getting way out of hand with this shit. Don't listen to everything you hear on the internet because this this fucking girls out here talking about underage girls. That's, That's not Anybody right. that follows her and watches that is just going to assume that is fact. Exactly. Like, why would she lie about that? Whatever. They have a sparking interest in seeing us not do well. Keemstar, obviously, is my co-host on Mom's Basement. I've been friends with him for years. Um, and H3, that's his sworn fucking enemy. <laughs> so, I mean, that's... He obviously has an interest in fucking with me. Um, I don't know, it's weird. It's so weird. The L3 thing is funny. That's just funny. It's way better than blanks, no? I, I, L3 is just way better. It They're is, talking about Mike being old, too. They're fucking mad old. I know! Like They're the no same sense. age! Like, the, Trisha's calling me creepy and old. She's older than me. <laughs> she is? She's, yeah, bro. She's no older sense. than I am. And, and I'm pretty sure, I think, he, I think, um, I think Ethan is older than Mike. I don't know. It's weird. Yo, Mo, thanks for the 50 tier 2 subs. Tier 2 subs. Did you just fart? No, bro. What the fuck? Oh, I thought you did. Are you crazy? It's the chair. So the chair moves a lot. I love um, you. I love you too. But um, you look good with this on. I do. Congratulations. Thank you, guys. I love you. Literally seeing the wankses and shit. That shit makes my day. You guys are awesome. So when are we gonna it's get a YouTube serious. video? It's not that serious. So when are we gonna get can, a YouTube video? Can I video? fucking breathe without somebody asking me? <laughs> soon, bro. Soon. So soon. When are you gonna play?